everybody, welcome to the Taylor 150E 12 string review. This beautiful, beautiful sounding little guitar is up here today, so let's do less talking and more playing. You can read the full review with more in-depth details on guitarhippies.com, the link is right below. string wish you were here along with some other classics like Old California and such. As you can see this guitar, the original guitars look look a bit more plain. It doesn't have these inlays or this nice deco or the album bridge pins. I added them myself and you can read on guitar hippies about some cool ways to customize your guitar. The link is below as well. Such a cool twist. The guitar has some very nice projection volume, it really fills the room. And if you plug it in, the amplification system here, it's called the Taylor Expression System, it sounds crystal clear. I really love it. Let's do some open chords. Among the things that I don't like as much about the guitar is first, it does not have a cutaway, which makes it a bit hard to improvise in this area. Pretty easily, it's not built like a monster like this six string right here, it can take a lot of beating. Let's try it on with a capo one because the 12 strings with capo on sound so sparkly and nice. Well, as you can tell, I really love this guitar. I also wish it had a built in tuner though because it's a lot of strings to tune, but overall. 
I really love it. 750 bucks is a pretty affordable price for a Taylor Claw spring. It used to be at least two grand to get one of those, a Taylor 12 spring, and then this came into the market two years ago, less than two years ago. We know you sit and wonder why. So, if you want to, if you're thinking about getting this guitar and you're looking for more details, you're welcome to go to the full review on guitar with these. Hope you enjoyed and I helped you reach a good decision. Thank you for watching. Peace out.